name is Chinanzo Igbenusi. I was born in Italy and I moved here in 2002 for English education. My typical day in Cork is like... I woke up at 6 o'clock. Then I do my choice, laundry, wash up, cooking and finish in about two hours. After that, I go to school for the day. I'm gonna come back around four, four o'clock. And eight o'clock to nine, we pray. And after prayer, I go to bed. That's my routine every day. And my parents treat me differently to my siblings. Um, yeah, they did. Because things they, things they do, they go out, have fun. I would just stay inside, read a book. Be protective, I would just read a book, watch TV, spare time, go jogging. Come back, do chores, then go to sleep. Same routine, but something different every day. But damn, they... Go to, see our, go to see your friends, go to party, interact sociably. I do that, but I just minimize my time with my friends because I have work to do at home. So, because I'm the head, so I have to do work. I have to be, uh, I have to be a role model because I have to be. My dad is doing business trips, and I have to be the father. I have to be the head. That's why a head have to be to show, to show what, to show them the way, how to go back to life and take care of them. That's that's why it's me. I had to be the father of the of the family. They didn't uh, they didn't care because they're just there to because they're young so they didn't they have that much responsibility. So it was easy for them. Sometimes I hate it to being the eldest because I I want to enjoy myself but then after I love being the head because it's, it gives me no it doesn't give me authority. It just like earn respect towards my siblings and love towards them. And you respect me back. That's how I found it. Um, one one night I was staying in the house. He told me not to go outside because uh, there was my friend would go clubbing and stuff like that. So he told me no, I'm not allowed to go outside. So I said fuck it. So I went I went in. I I snuck. The window was open in the sitting room, so I snuck out and went went outside to enjoy my friends, enjoy clubbing with my friends. That was the best time ever. As I got back, I had to do pimping as punishment for two hours. If I move or fall, I get a whip or a cane on my back or ass. I was pleading with my dad, please can I get up? But he said, no, this is what you deserve. I have ne I didn't ever since that, I never wanted to do it again.
it was only one conflict between my brothers and stepmom. There was one that she took money, and we know that she took the money. But after that, um, she did, she says stories to say that she didn't take it. So my brother, he, he, my brother, um, he's 16, so he couldn't accept that. So we went around to my stepmom's house. He was angry and was asking for his money back. She said, no, which money do I owe you? So she got angry. She called my brother a liar and threw him out of the house. After this, I went around. She wouldn't let me in the door. Then she, she threw me out of the street. I had no place to go for the night. I ended up going to my friend and getting money from them. to Cork to see my pastor and ask for help. He listened to me, he understood. I like walking through the mountains, seeing sheep climbing the mountains, the scenery on a good day. I like going for a run in the evening and the morning. I love different cultures, but I love the Irish culture. I want to learn about the people, the language, and the heritage. The people are friendly. They say hi. Even strangers say hi. This is uh, different from Italy and Nigeria. The thing that African parents say, you're not Irish, you just have an Irish passport, but I am and feel inside I am Irish. <laughs>